This video will review the Demographics by Service Report tab on the Workforce Deployment Dashboard. Department of Human Resources and the Edison Business Intelligence Team in the Department of Finance Administration has collaborated to build an easy-to-read series of dashboards in the Business Intelligence module of Edison. The Workforce Deployment Dashboard contains key human capital management data metrics that begin at the highest level such as staffing, turnover, and demographics in an easy-to-read format. In this video, we will be discussing the Demographics by Service tab. The data examines the number of employees in each generational category and the count of those employees in six categories of years of service ranges. The data can be seen at the agency, division, and individual employee level. The data in this report cross-references years of service called service bands and social generation data. There are six service bands. This chart shows the category title on the left, and the years of service that falls within that category on the right. Generation calculations use the employee's date of birth are now calculated based on the Pew Research Center generation definitions. The state of Tennessee began using the definitions from Pew in 2015. Now let's look at the demographic by service data as it appears in the dashboard. There are two ways to access the business intelligence module from the Edison homepage. The first way is to click here. Under the Other Applications list, click on Business Intelligence. The second way is to click on the navigation bar in the top right corner, click on Menu, and then click on Business Intelligence. From the home page, access the Workforce Deployment Dashboard by clicking on the Dashboard drawdown in the top right of the page. On the list of dashboards, click on Workforce Deployment. The Workforce Deployment Dashboard's default is to open to the Overview tab. To access Demographics Service data, click on the Demographics Service tab. For the purposes of this video, the filter is set to see the Children's Services Demographic Service data for the calendar year 2023. The Demographics Service tab shows the employees' years of service by generation. The Graphs Data field is color-coded to show the number of employees per age band for that generation. The legend that identifies which colors match the age bands is here on the right side. On the table, the generation definitions are listed on the left side. The employee headcount for each age band and generation are in the next six columns. The overall percentages and the total employee headcount for the respective generations are in the last columns. The total row simply counts the total number of employees in those age band categories. The total percentage row defaults to 100% as this row is for multiple agency calculations. Clicking on any of the hyperlink numbers in the employee headcount section will allow the user to drill down for more detailed data. The view employees detail option will show a staffing pattern like list of employees in this category. Here is a partial example of the list with information redacted for privacy, the blue columns. The yellow column has the individual employee's service years. The second drill down option, View Employee by Agency, shows employee counts by division. Left click on the option and a redundant page appears. Left click on the employee headcount number and select View by Department ID and Division. A list of agency divisions and their counts for that generational category will appear. The last column contains the average length of service for the generation in that division. Left click on any of the employee headcount numbers to get a staffing pattern like list of the employees. Here's an example of the staffing pattern for a division with some information redacted for privacy. This view was manually formatted to fit this screen. The information is the actual data and shows what columns will appear on the report. This concludes the Workforce Deployment Demographics Report training. Please view our other videos in this section to learn more about the individual dashboards and reports. If you have any questions, please contact a member of the DOHR Organizational Performance and Data Management team directly or at dohr.opdm at tn.gov at any time. Thank you.